Okay, I'm back with another vid, another request. But before I start, I just want to make an announcement. I know a lot of people like to request me albums. I know, but the reason why I'm doing like most of these requests this week is because I'm just trying to get them out the way because I have people request me to do albums like four months ago. I still haven't done them yet. I just want to apologize to those people. You know who you guys are, so. I haven't forgot about you guys. I just this whole week is gonna be all request people who request me to do albums. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. So I'm about to do this next album. Let me get the music ready. That's um Tina Marie, ooh la la la, off that N Naked to the World album back in 1988. Dope album right there. Rest in peace to Tina Marie. Okay, so the album I'm about to do today. First, I want to give a shout out to my friend Alyssa. She requested me to do this album. It's for you, Bahamadia Collage 1996 on. How do you say that? On Chrysalis slash EMI Records. For those of you who don't know who Bahamadia is, she is a female a female MC. <clears throat> She's got to start DJing in like the 80s, but then she got she also um developed a love for MCing. And she's I mean, I find her she's from Philadelphia by the way. And she got the attention of Guru from like after she put out her first underground single called Funk Vibe back in 1993, she got the attention of Guru, the same Guru, yes, Guru from Gangstar, rest in peace to him, he basically took her under his wing, and he he put out this, her first single, um, Total Wreck, he produced that single, which is on this album too, that single right there is grimy, dark, like, if you hear that beat, you automatically think that beat is from their Hard to Earn album from 1994. And also, the next year, she dropped a song, You Know How We Do, which is like a chill kind of song. And she, like, <clears throat> she was very was well received by like the underground and underground hip hop, and especially from hip hop head at that time. Because she had, like, if you listen to her voice, I mean, I kind of compare her to, she has the, the roughness of groove, but she also has the smooth, the smoothness in her voice, like Ladybug from Digital Planets. And if you listen to Ladybug, especially like, that's the second album, the second Digital Planets album, Loa Cone, you hear her voice, you can tell that she had an influence on Muhammadiyah's voice, especially when she does those chill tracks. Alright. And also, um, what else? So, she, she, she then appeared on Guru's set Jasmine, Jasmine Taz Volume 2. And then next year, she dropped Collage, so. That's one thing about rappers back in the day, like, they take their time to get themselves noticed like they will just appear drop one single this year and next year they drop another single appear on a few guest appearances these days rappers these days they drop like 70 mixtapes then once the album comes out it's like straight up garbage you know what i'm saying um singles i was known for are three the hard way you know how we do Chew Honey Bun, that freak shit, Total Wreck, and um, hold up, I believe, oh yeah, and I can I confess, and producers on this album are DJ Premier, Guru, The Beat Miners, No O, No O Joe, Ski, The Roots, DJ Red Handed. And that's it. And guess the persons are the Roots, K Swift, and Mecca Star. 
Okay, so this album, like, one thing I like to describe about this album is like Gangstar, it's like mid, mid 90s Gangstar mixed in with like a little bit of the roots, do you want more? And also a little bit of like a t in terms of production, a little bit of has that Smith and Weston's The Shining vibe to it, some of the beats. Okay, let's get started with the album. Track number one, intro. DJ Premier Poots produced that, that's a dope beat. Track number two, wordplay. Um, Goo actually produced that one. Pretty, pretty dope song. That's the title explains it all. It explains Bahama Diaz. Classic wordplay. That's another thing about she, people sleep on her due to her wordplay, her lyricism. Track number three, spontan spontaneity. Uh, another dope, dope ass song. I love that beat to it. I love her flow on that record. Track number four, rugged rough. This song right here is boom bap hip hop at its finest. Everything about the song is great. Her way of her way of attacking the flow. DJ DJ Premier's beat to that song. Those drums, you no. Know, <clears throat> this one, one thing I love about mid-90s hip-hop, that boom bap, that style needs to come back in hip-hop. Like those, I'm tired of hearing about those 808s in almost every mainstream rapper's production style. Like, go, go back to that boom bap style. Man. Track number five is an interlude. Track number six, I Confess. I love, 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 love that song right there, I Confess. It has that like, mm, that summertime kind of vibe to it, you know, she, like, another, that's another thing too about that song, she also sings a little bit on this record too, but it's not like that corny singing you hear on <laughs> Drake or Future, you know. Track number seven, You Know How We Do, that's a singer right there, Ski actually produced that one. The same ski who worked with Jay Z, Camp Low. You guys know that the deal. Dope song right there. I love the party. It's like a party kind of song. Like a little song you hear like at one of those quiet lounges that those jazz lounges. Track number eight is an interlude. Track number nine, Total Wreck. This that song. Some it's a classic song right there. That song was actually the first single she actually put out, like that beat alone is dope, and the music video is, mm, that's all That's all I'm gonna say. Track number 10, Innovation, Um, another dope song, another song where she has that smooth flow. <laughs> Okay, track number 11, the John. Um, featuring the Roots. The Roots, in my opinion, one of the best hip hop groups. One of the best hip hop groups of all time. You know, the Roots in the 90s, they were like out the box, very, very out the box. Um, let me see about that song. What else about that song? And <clears throat> what else? They had they um sampled um that funky four plus one song. You know, you, you guys know that song if you know what I mean. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, what was I about to say? Yeah, that song featuring the Roots. In my opinion, Malik B. He killed that song. Like, I always feel like he doesn't get the credit he deserves. When it comes to like the roots, like people always tend to focus on Black Thought. Like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Black Thought, but Malik B, he's like that dope. He's dope too. He's like he, he's the dude that really brings a hype to like the roots. If you know what I mean. Okay. Um, track number twelve, another interlude. Track thirteen, chew honey buns, that freak shit. Ah, uh, that song is cool. I love the um. 
that Ohio player sample. You know, that's that's a dope sample right there. Check number 14, Three the Hard Way, featuring Case with the Mecca Star. Pre our all right song. And check number 15, Biggest Part of Me. That song is pretty dope too. I love that song. Pretty go get away to close the whole album. And that's it. It's a pre it's a pretty short album. Like it has like a lot of interludes and other than that, this is a cool album, cool mid nineties hip hop album. One thing I love about Bahamadia is like her flow, wordplay, singing. She has that unique style in her. Like <clears throat> she should have, she should have been a way bigger, bigger star in my opinion. Because from, like from what I looked up, um, Chrysler's records they folded after a year after this album was released, so she had to go. She appeared on guest appearances, but but then she had to drop a an EP back in two thousand called the BB Queen. And I need to check that album out to be honest. And like, you don't really hear a lot from her when it comes to like top female rapper. You don't really hear a lot like saying that Muhammad is up there. She's my she's very underrated and collage is basically a a mid nineties hip hop gem. Everyone should have like everything about that album is dope the production. Um, the time it was released, rapping, you know, guest appearances, like, she's a really total package. This album should have had way more promotion than it did. And if you're a fan of Gangstar's Hard to Earn, if you're a fan of The Roots, Do You Want More, if you're a fan of, like, those, those albums, the most different, check, check this album out. It's Bahamadia Collage 1996. Keep that out.